everyone, Brie and Titus here today. I'm going to be doing the mommy tag. It has 20 questions in it, so I will jump right on in. Um, I will post the questions below. Um, the first question is, Are um, am I a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? And I am a stay-at-home stay mom right now. Um, I will be going through doula training um, in the next few months, and in September I will be starting school. So things are going to change a little bit, but I am a stay-at-home mom. The next question is, would I have it any other way? And I would say I love being home with him, and the thought of not being home with him makes me really, really sad. But on the flip side of that, I really, really want to be a doula, and I really want to take the steps towards becoming a midwife. And so while I really enjoy the time at home with him, I'm also really looking forward to kind of just spreading my wings and flying. <laughs> Uh, do I co-sleep? The answer is no. Um, we don't currently co-sleep, though we did in the past. Uh, what is one must-have baby item for your baby? And I would say that a thing I thought I didn't need that I turned out needing was a bouncy chair or a swing. I thought, no, it's fine. I can either hold him or sleep easily in his crib. Or, you know, I can lay a blanket on the ground and he can just play on the ground and I'll just save the money. But no, that did not work. You need a bouncy seat or a swing. You don't need both, but you really do need them, despite what some lists online will tell you. Um, how many kids do I plan on having is the next question. And uh, I have one. <laughs> I don't currently have a partner. So while I do very much want more kids, um, I'm not going to go out and get knocked up. <laughs> so, um, again. So I will not be having any other kids that I know of in the near future, but I would like two or three more kids, to be honest. The next question is, date night. How many nights per month? Hmm, tried none in the past year and a half. I haven't been on a date in, I mean, I wasn't really dating his dad, so m more than a year and a half of time has passed since I've been on a real date. <laughs> The next question is, what is my child's favorite show? Um, he doesn't really have a favorite show. He's only nine months. He likes Thomas the Train, um, and we like Elmo, um, but he doesn't have a favorite show, and he doesn't really watch those very much. Uh, the next question is, name one thing you bought before I had a baby that I never ended up using. Hmm, okay, I bought an Ergo, um, and I like my Moby, but I didn't like my Ergo Carrier. Um, I thought I would love it, I thought I'd wear my baby constantly, but um, my boobs get in the way of an Ergo Carrier, and there was no real way to make it work with my body and how big he was. It just didn't work for me. Everyone seemed to really like him, wasn't for me. Um, the next question is, what is my child's favorite food? And as you can see him back there snacking, he has my hair clip. I will watch him to make sure he doesn't joke on that. Um, he likes all food. There is, he has not met a food he really doesn't like. He's not a huge fan of eggs, but he'll still eat them. He just he just likes all food. Um, how many cars does my family have? And that's one, and it only works like half the time. <laughs> Weight gain before pregnancy, during pregnancy, and after. Um, so... <laughs> So before pregnancy, I've always been within five pounds either direction of a certain weight. Um, during pregnancy, I actually only gained like under 20 pounds, which is pretty low. Granted, I'm a big girl to begin with. Um, but after he he, uh, he was delivered, I actually was lighter than what I was pre-pregnancy. And within the three months afterwards, I had lost even more weight. It wasn't until three months postpartum that I started putting weight back on, and now I'm over what I used to be pre-pregnancy. So I do have to work on that. I used to be doing really good at the end of my pregnancy, um, but I definitely faltered a bit in the in the eating, uh, exercising department. <laughs> I guess it's just because it's just so much easier to just grab food and eat, and because he takes naps, you know, like during the nap is when I eat, and I think I lose track of how much I'm eating, um, and I don't know, what am I going to do? <laughs> so my dream vacation with my kid, um, well, going anywhere very far would not be fun with my child. I would say, you know, like a nice family camp with my family, 
um, near Warm Lake would be probably the easiest in a nice cabin with multiple rooms so he, can, he and I could have our own room with him in his own crib or pack and play. That would be the easiest thing with him. That would also be pretty relaxing. I, I, I guess if he was older, I would say something like Disney World or, you know, um, any sort of amusement park, but he's just not old enough for that. He's just not old enough. He's, he would be too much work. <laughs> so the next question is the flip side of that is what, um, would my dream vacation be without Titus? And that would be probably Hawaii. I would really, really, I don't know what it is, but I would absolutely love going to Hawaii, I think, or any sort of tropical beach where the water is just beautiful and there are lovely waves and, uh, you know, warm. I live in, I live in, the, in New England, so it's, it's really cold up here. Um, how has my life changed since my baby was born? Oh my goodness. It has changed in almost every single way. A life can change, I would say. I mean, before I was born, uh, before I was born, yes, well, that is the thought, <laughs> but before he was born, um, I would say, I mean, I was very, I just didn't care too much about, um, you know, the future, and I didn't think much ahead, um, and now I, I am thinking ahead continuously, and planning, you know, what would be the best things for him, um, because my focus used to be on me, and now my focus is not on me. That is definitely the biggest change when you have a baby. It's just, your world becomes about someone else, and you're okay with it, but it can be hard sometimes. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see Ty smile and laugh and play, and he's just so cute. Look at those cheeks. Yeah. Wouldn't that make anyone's heart just melt out of their chest? <laughs> that makes my heart melt. <laughs> Where do I shop for my kids? So, um, I honestly, most of his clothing and items are all hand-me-downs. So I've been gen just blessed um, with generosity from people I don't even know who have given me clothing and, um, you know, toys, this, this accessories and hand-me-down, like, almost everything I have. Um, when I do shop, I usually shop, um, I try to stick with the cheaper stuff. Um, my favorite things have been from Babies R Us um, on the clearance rack, but I've also shopped at a, anywhere from Target to resale stores, um, etc, etc. <laughs> uh, favorite makeup and skincare products. So I very rarely use makeup. Very rarely. Um, I use a little eyeliner, like today I have a little eyeliner on when I want to look a little nicer. So I guess my favorite makeup is, um, I use Maybelline's, um, Stiletto eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and the black is black, and I use, um, I love Too Faced Shadow Insurance as far as an eye, eye primer goes, and it really does prolong the use of your, um, prolong the, uh, lifespan, I suppose, of your, uh, eyeshadow, so. I recommend Too Faced, especially if you don't want to be touching up throughout the day. Um, Huggies or Pampers, and that would be neither. I mean, I like Pampers. Out of those two, I would go with Pampers any day, but I just don't want to spend a kajillion dollars on diapers when, for us, Parents' Choice brand works just as well. Um, and I, I feel like if you aren't going to be, you know, an all-natural recycling type of person and use cloth or like a really, really, you know, um, eco-friendly brand. If you aren't going to use that anyway, why would you go with the most expensive? Oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> most expensive brand. So out of Huggies and Pampers, Pampers, but in general, I like Parents' Choice and the Target brand and Loves. Um, have you always wanted kids? That's an interesting question. I guess, yes, I have always wanted kids. But there was a time before I had Ty um, that I figured I didn't want kids for quite some time and then of course I got pregnant and that changed. But there was a time where I was like, you know, I don't have to have kids. But I think I always wanted them. And the last question is, what is the best part about being a mom? And I would say <laughs> watching Ty grow up and become just more and more of a person that I really want to get to know 
has been amazing and and just like how big your heart actually expands for your child is beyond belief so i think the best part about being a mom is actually nothing that has to do with the work involved and everything that has to do with just what naturally happens um as your ch child grows so there's the uh, 20 question mommy tag, so Sierra, I tag you, and I tag any moms who stumble across this video. Pull out your cameras and um, post this video and tag us back so, so we see it. Thank you very much and have a nice day.